Hello guys, Leon here with episode 121. Want to go ahead and give you a quick introduction on today's podcast. Now, before we begin on today's segment, I have two things I wanted to bring out. One is Feedspot. Now, if you don't know what Feedspot is all about, Feedspot is a um, is a news feed service that you can keep up with all your content creators like bloggers, podcasters, YouTubers, and so much more you can do with this website. And in fact, I've been uh, keeping up with Feedspot and want to let you guys know that I am in the top 20 uh, podcasts. So I'm, I'm actually top 20 on there. And, it, and it's pretty cool to see that there's people listening over there. And I've had actually gained listeners from people from India, France, UK, and several other countries in the past month back in May. Now, I just want to go and let you guys know that if you want to follow me over there and and be useful enough to uh, leave a review of what you think about today's show, by all means, love to uh, I'd love to hear all your reviews on feedspot.com. And like I've said, I'm on the top 20 podcasts. So the link, I'm going to post a link down below, which is feedspot.com slash technology podcasts. So check me out over there and leave a review. And first and foremost, which since this is a topic I'm going to be talking about on today's show, uh, which I want to just uh, mention to you about Brave. Now, Brave is a pretty much a competitor to Chrome and Firefox and including Microsoft's Edge. So what's so different about Brave? Well, I will be uh, bringing this up on the show. Brave is a browser that I've used for several other years now, start, starting when I started as an early adapter when only a few other people heard has heard about it too. And now this browser has is now been used now over 1.6 million. And I am very excited to uh, share this to you that I am now a content creator through uh, pretty much a Brave affiliate through Brave, which is pretty awesome actually. And if you want to support me over there and if you're looking to go for another browser that doesn't snoop into your privacy by all means it is fantastic and by all means check out the link down below down in the description so you can check me out over here all right so let's get on to today's story hello everybody I hope you guys are having a good Friday or a good day wherever you are. So on today's um, topic, it's going to be about Brave, as you already heard from my uh, advertisement through Brave. And I want to let everybody know that if you guys are looking for a good uh, browser alternative outside of the corporate browsers like uh, Edge, Microsoft's Edge, Firefox or corporate browsers like Google's Chrome. It's a good way to get away from uh, big corporations buying on your privacy. And I think it is great that there's other alternatives out there too. And, of, and then of course, Brave isn't the only alternative browser. You definitely have browsers such as Pale Moon. I've used in the past Waterfox, uh, which is used by the Gecko uh, engine which is uh, actually the codes are you can get open source through Mozilla. And now with with uh, Brave, let me just go ahead and get on with the overview on Brave right here too. And I think um, Brave is actually being talked about more and more on uh, uh, this week now since now we've actually have actually two stories that I wanted to bring up too, which actually it's two stories, but something came up this week and why this is actually kind of special now this week on Forbes now this was a uh, pretty cool that uh, they wrote uh, about 
uh, Joe Rogan about this too. And I had no idea what was um, this whole headline all about. And also I had to go onto Joe Rogan's podcast to listen to the latest one. Uh, I believe the uh, po- guest on the podcast was called Reggie, uh, Reggie Watts, if I, if I got the name correctly, but I'll read into it uh, uh, more so than I, more than, uh, I continue on with the article. But anyways, I want to just uh, go ahead and mention to everybody about this too, which is pretty interesting, but I think it's really exciting because at least it's going to give a lot more people now that there's other options than just using a corporate browser like uh, Chrome. And I, and personally though, I left Chrome me- for many, many years. I haven't even touched Chrome, including Mozilla Firefox. And though Mozilla Firefox was pretty much open source and for tons of years until it got bought out by a foundation, the Soros Foundation. And to me, I like when code is not being done, nor a foundation comes at it and pretty much screws things up too. Because, you know, by the time it, any, any foundation or any corporation touches uh, a browser, a, a browser like that, uh, you know they're gonna just do anything to screw up anyone's privacy, and which is con- it continues to be an ongoing thing. And one of the things, um, what got me into listening to Joe Rogan's uh podcast with with Reggie Watts was that um they were talking about uh they were talking about how um Google was in a big lawsuit. And one of the things I've heard from the show was I, I this is what how much I didn't know about this that uh it was actually early this week that uh Google was was sued for five billion five billion dollars which is a lot of money uh but of course again Google is a pretty much like a multi billion dollar company so they're able to pay that lawsuit easily but I know this right here shows you the incomplicity incomplicity that how google is as a company and i will say that for anybody or any of my listeners i'm sure that many of you know that me already all of you already know that the uh, google is not there for your privacy so and for as i as someone that is a affiliate with um, brave and not to just um uh, be all grandstanding and say hey come and use this browser because it'll help for privacy and so so forth too now it does i will say that this is a great alternative um to the mainstream browsers like mozilla uh chrome uh, chrome and and mozilla and microsoft's edge now i will say personally uh, foremost is that it is a it is an amazing browser and and personally, in my opinion, I do think it is wonderful that uh, anybody can go and use a browser like Brave. And I think it does give people much more options. So reading on to the headline, which uh, it says, Joe Rogan just gave millions of Google Chrome users another surprising option. So reading down below, it says, Google Chrome is the world, world's biggest uh, internet browser with a staggering near 60% market share but new rivals are gaining ground amid rising privacy concerns. This week, podcaster Joe Rogan, who has recently been thrust into the limelight after he signed a major deal with streaming service Spotify, revealed he used the cryptocurrency-powered Chrome rival Brave to admit internet ads and Google's overzealous tracking. So, and I think that for him and his audience, I mean, he has millions of millions of listeners and watchers out there for anyone that li- watches his um content through youtube so and i think it's pretty cool and then i continue reading on over here it says there's much there's so much value in knowing what you're up for uh, up to knowing where you're uh, where you're going what you're buying what you're saying um uh, rogan told his podcast guest Reggie Watts, an American musician, actor, and comedian in a wide-ranging discussing, discussion uh, lasting over two hours. If you want to 
use Instagram or if you want to use Facebook, you're getting tracked. Rogan says, uh, pointing to a recent five billion, uh, five billion lawsuit filed against Google for tracking users without their consent. Rogan, who has claimed that his podcast gets a get as many as 190 million downloads per month and is thought to have made 30 million last year, according to the recent Forbes estimate, railed against ads and appeared to follow users around the internet before admitting he uses uh, Brave after it was mentioned by Watts. Well, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> but I think he's actually staying on top of the tech trends just as I am. And um, however, I will go ahead and leave leave this pretty shortly, which I'm not going to try to go over the whole article on, on Forbes. And now I want to just go ahead and give you some of the things why I like Brave as a browser and just a few other things I will just mention, but I will mention the rest in a uh, article post on the Leon LeGray entry dot blog. So if you want to check more what I have to say, then by all means check, I'll have the link down description on my latest article from here on the top things why I like about Brave. So continue on for, forward. And one of the things that Forbes even mentions is the basic authentication tokens, which is a cryptocurrency for voluntary watching ads uh, from partner brands such as Amazon, Verizon, Chipotle, and PayPal has also grown with its number of ad campaigns climbing from uh, 255% to over 1,500 from October 2019 to May 2020, which that's a, that tells you right there. So I think, like I said, it is wonderful. And let me just mar make a um, note why it, uh, this browser is really cool. For one, I do think that the layout, it is nicely done on Brave. And also it makes it things a lot easy. And also when you bring up a new tab on Brave, one of the nice features I will uh, I will say about that is that it does a really damn good job, and I and that's what I like about that too. And I do think uh, BAT or basic uh, attention tokens are it's going to be used widely with so many users picking up uh, the pace on this too, which it is pretty awesome. But however, I will go ahead and leave. Um, uh, I'll leave a link down below that which users or content creators are using this, which is actually fantastic right there too. And, and on also, it also, it gives you uh, each items of, of um, each of websites, it comes up as an icon right onto Brave, which is really nice though. And actually, I will have to start making a video tutorial what um going over step by step, which is hard to ex describe it via audio unless if you visually see it, I will have to do a, a video about it at some point, one one way or the other. I think it will be really nice to share this to everybody about how it, how it looks and everything like that too, which probably one of these days I will have to make the time and effort to posting this up on my YouTube channel and my library channel. And so let's um look at this here too so on top of here too the, so besides the icons on frequently you frequently um use websites uh which shows right there i see that it on over my end it shows ads and trackers blocked uh, which it shows up my browser on my brave browser here in front of me uh 71872 uh blocked ads in trackers which is cool cool that uh, it shows you an element right there now if you were to go to a website such as um, as an example Google it'll just show you uh, how much uh, how much trackers are being popped up when you're just using uh, a website like Google then secondly what I want to just bring up right here is that whenever you're browsing uh, anywhere on any website and especially um, wherever you're going. And if you're, let's say, if you did looked up on on a browser 
uh, creator, you pretty much can gain um, a BAT or basic authentication tokens on it. And you can just earn more of it too. And you can actually connect these tokens, adding add it along with your Uphold account too, which I actually have an Uphold account. And that, yeah, um, which I will briefly mention about Uphold is it is like a financial service for all your fiat currencies, cryptos, and precious metals, which is very nice. And actually, I like which I like about that too. Now I know Uphold as an account, it's not perfect, but that's the way it goes too. And I I have to say like Uphold, I'm not a professional Uphold on Uphold, and I've been using Uphold for some time too. Now Uphold does support. BAT, which I like uh, that how there's a support for these currencies. And I know there's a lot more currencies that are going to be added on Uphold uh, by every single update th uh, through Google Play, through the Google Play app, app right there too. So there's always update being updated every single time. So to me, this is actually a good start to uh, start earning currencies and saving up for it too as well because it can, it is used for uh, for being spent and saved right there too so it's just like your everyday currency i do think that crypto it's going to be the future and i like how it makes it nice that it makes it such a big um uh, how should i put it like a big Gosh, I can't even think of the word on top of my head. Probably it'll come up to me. But either way, it, like an incentive. So there we go. Like it becomes like a very, very much like an incentive to uh, browse uh, browse using this browser, which is great. And then one of the recent updates is that they have Binance. Now, Binance, I don't know too much about Binance. I know that it's like, like a trading site or trading platform now don't know too much about binance how uh how well it works but i know that i'm got i mean i'm learning more as i go and then again i'm still early in the crypto space which i am still gonna experiment how binance works but recently one of the updates is is really cool because it gives people options to buy uh bat and add those BATs right there too. No, and also you can buy base authentication tokens. You can buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, uh, so on and so forth too. So there's tons of crypt, um, cryptocurrencies. Like I believe there's uh, there's uh, over 161 currencies well, as of to date. So it's uh, a good time to study on cryptos. Though there are good, good cryptos out there. That you could check up on right there too but i do suggest guys if you're going to get into the crypto space i suggest doing your own research too because there are good live uh, reliable currencies that uh that you can uh, pick up but like i've said um there are good ones and there's bad ones right there too but i think that brave is going to continue to climb and climb as it goes forth right there too so however like i've said you guys can check up uh, more on the top uh, top few things why I like uh, why I like Brave Browser, and I think I will have everything listed down below for sure too. But either way, um, comparing Brave from its early stages from uh, when it came out from around 2017, Brave is pretty much like a freedom browser, and I like how it's nicely put and 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 it's great too but i will say is that if you compare apples and oranges like i mean i don't know if this is like total privacy i know that you can use like another browser such as uh tor right tor is a great example of privacy right there too now what's kind of iffy with tor is that you have to know how to use it and like, and I will say is that I'm not a professional whatsoever, so don't take me on it too, because I know you have to learn how to use Tor and make sure how you how you can how you can use it too. And there are so many people that knows how to use Tor uh, better than I do. But I know if you're not the kind of person that that doesn't know how to use uh, advanced encryption or anything like that. Brave does make it very, very simple 
enough to browse around everywhere else too. And one of the earliest things I will say when I was using Brave early on, I remember when I tried to upload a photo of uh, of an item like let's whenever I was on eBay and I tried to upload items that I wanted to upload. I um the earlier stages on or the earlier updates on Brave wouldn't let me. So now in this one right here, it's pretty much improved with eight point or excuse me, one point eight on on Brave. That's where I, I like about it too, because there's no issues and a lot of issues have been resolved ever since. So Brave is not perfect by all means too. It's always updating and it's always getting users feedback and which Brave is a very much an open community where it takes a lot of people's suggestions and things where it can improve. Now, I am very excited where this is going to go because I do believe that since now uh, there's now believe 15.6 million users using Brave, which is actually very awesome to see that. And I do hope it continues to grow more and more as it goes on too. But we will have to see how that goes because I hope that it does go over 15, over 15 million or 50 million, which will be ph phenomenal. And, the, and people will continue to use it too. Because there's a lot of potential using Brave. I say get on it early while you can because who knows what's going to happen right there too. Because you definitely see a lot of corporations, a lot of governments snooping on your privacy. And that is still a huge thing uh, that's going to continue being reported this year. So by all means, uh, get yourself using Brave and try out yourself too. Wouldn't hurt to try it. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoy this podcast. If you want to check more of my content, be sure to follow me up on Twitter and when I'm going to be posting the next material coming up and all my social medias down below the, the description. Then also, lastly, I want to let you guys know that I am everywhere, including the podcast service of your choice, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, Radio Public, and much, much more. Anyways, folks, you have a great day. So long and ciao.